Hi everyone, Chef Mark with Appliance Factory and Mattress Kingdom. And I'm here answering your Dial Chef questions. Remember, you can send any of your questions to dialchefmark at gmail.com. I'll make sure to answer them in video form. So you got a great question. Uh, somebody's getting ready for Thanksgiving and this person complains that they're always late with the turkey. They're trying to eat by five and they're not eating till eight. So I got a couple of tips to help this person and everybody get their turkey on the table on time. So you, run, you want to work backwards uh, with time and you want to plan on 15 minutes per pound of cooking time. However, that doesn't take in the amount of time it takes for something to, to cool and to rest and also carve. So I'd recommend adding about an hour of, of uh, resting time and about 15 to 20 minutes for carving. Right, because you think about how big that bird is, and it can be it can be time consuming to carve. I also recommend carving your bird in the kitchen and bringing it to the table carved. We'll have a video on how to carve a turkey coming up soon. Okay, so here's a couple of tips with the oven. Make sure you turn your oven on nice and hot when you preheat it. I pre my I preheat my oven to 500 degrees on convection bake not roast because that roast will kick on that upper element and it will burn your turkey because it's in the oven for so long. I make sure that I remove all the racks and I have the turkey about three quarters of the way from the bottom, so almost all the way to the bottom of the oven. And I do that all the night before to make sure that I don't forget because there's nothing worse than having your oven on and trying to move hot oven racks. So 500 degrees is way too hot to roast the turkey at, but when I took my turkey out of the refrigerator and I put it in the oven at 500, I closed the door and I immediately turned the temperature down to 350. If you were to have a thermometer in there in the oven the whole time, you'll watch the temperature dip way down because it's trying to uh, compensate for all that, that cool meat and that cool air in the oven, and it's gonna fight to get its way back up. So if you only preheat your, pre your oven to 350 degrees, it can cool down to 90 to 120 degrees, and it's gonna spend the next hour, hour and a half on and fighting to get back up to that temperature. But if you over preheat your oven, you're gonna pretty much hit 350 right on the dot, and you could take almost an hour of cooking time off your bird right there. So I recommend that more than anything. And then also, I like to have my turkey ready to go the night before. So I have it in my roasting pan with my carrots, onions, celery, and my chicken broth seasoned. I got the truffle butter on it. I got the sprigs of thyme in there. It's ready to go in the morning. I unwrap the thing, boom, right into the oven. And if you're messing with the turkey the morning of, if you're taking it out of the packaging and dressing it, all of that the day of, that could add another hour of prep time. And I think, you know, between all those things combined, you're gonna get your turkey on the table when you told your family they're ready to eat. Make sure to send all your questions to dialchefmark at gmail.com. Make sure to subscribe to our channel.